Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of my DIY birthday bash series. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this super cute picture frame that's going to be going on the food table. Of course I wish I had a photo to actually sh of Caden in there to actually show you guys but I didn't have one developed yet but as you see it just has his name and the age that he's turning and a whole bunch of googly eyes because you guys know he's doing monster themed but this would be really simple to do for any theme because you can obviously put anything else on it but I want to show you guys the basis of what I'm doing. So yeah, let's get started with the DIY picture frame. Some of the things you're going to need for this project is a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. As you can see, I bought a new one just for this today. Um, some googly eyes. I, If you're doing it monster themed, I have all different sizes because I just thought it looked neater. Some paint in whatever color you decide you want to do. Then I just got these like I don't know foam sticker letters I got them for like a buck at Dollarama I think and then a picture frame which as well I got for a dollar 25 from the Dollar Tree so yeah if you have most of this stuff at home it's really cheap if not I think I spent like three dollars to make this well at my time so anyways let's get started with this DIY so first things first you're going to start off by painting your picture frame in what Whatever color you decide you want to do it. I just went with orange because obviously that's in his theme. And you're gonna want to make sure that you pop the glass out so that you don't get paint on the glass. I personally just couldn't figure out how to get it out at first. It was like stuck, so I had paper covering it. But as you'll see later on in this clip, that I did end up getting it out. And yeah, it might take a lot of coats. I think mine took like five coats, no word of a lie. So this is time consuming but it's so worth it in the end and you want to make sure you're getting all the sides and everywhere possible so yeah and then once you're done painting it I actually didn't include this in the things that you need part of it because I wasn't planning on doing this but I ended up um, spraying it with a sealant to make sure that the acrylic paint wasn't going to come off uh, and then yeah it also gave it a really nice shine so you can do that as well and I'm sorry I didn't include it in the actual list of things needed but yeah so after that that's all I did I just didn't get a chance to record it so now that your picture frame is dry from the sealant and the paint is looking beautiful you're gonna start laying out your foam letters if you get the exact same foam letters as me mine are actually stickers so I just took off the back and placed it on, kind of to hold its place of where I wanted it to go. And I actually made mine overhang a little bit, so it actually like stuck up from the frame, if that makes sense, because or else my Y was gonna look wonky. That's the only reason I did it, but it ended up looking really cool. And then I just put a one in the corner. You could put a two or a three, whatever age your child is turning. I just wanted to use a one. And then, yeah, once I had stuck them all on, I just reinforced them with the hot glue gun. So yeah, just to make sure it wasn't going to come off later on, but yeah. So once those letters were all stuck and in place, I honestly just had a heyday with gluing on the glue eyes. I did all different sizes. I just thought it made it look a lot better with having some really big ones, some medium sized ones, and some small ones. Now you could do them sparse or you could do them like really extreme where I almost put them in every spare spot that I had, but I honestly went crazy with this and I had no rhyme or reason. It was just have a heyday and glue them all over and I was really happy with how it turned out. finished product again I'm sorry I didn't have an actual picture to show you guys for a better visual I just thought it was really cute I love the lettering how it kind of sticks up and then it's got the number one and then you can obviously make it to whatever theme you want and as you guys can see Caden really liked it he thought that mommy did a really good job on it and I hope you guys think so too and I hope you guys can use it for your birthday or whatever that you guys want to use it for I will talk to you guys later bye 
thank you guys very much for watching my video. Make sure that you watch my last video that I did on a Valentine's Day tutorial. I know Valentine's Day has come and gone, but of course it's just a really cute, girly, pink makeup look. Uh, make sure that you guys subscribe because I put out new videos every week and follow me on all my social media because I love to keep in touch with you guys. Thank you again so much for watching my video and I will see you all next time. Bye!